hey, what's up? I'm in Texas. Surprise! Um, high quality uh, content here. Didn't even let you know it was happening. So yeah, we're in Texas. My boyfriend and I. And we're doing uh, basically all of Texas. Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin in 10 days. So I'm gonna take you along with me. It was kind of a last minute put together trip. So here we are. We're in a rental car. It's blue, which is exciting. And we're going to Whataburger. I hope I said that right. Which I've heard, I've heard good things about. I heard that you have to try it. I heard it's exciting. So we're gonna see how that goes. See you guys soon. This is Max. I'm showing it before I get mine because he's gonna devour it in two seconds. So, the burger is giant. And this is a medium drink. Texas is crazy. So I'm that jerk that got a chicken sandwich instead of a burger. And yeah, and fries. Over there. And some fancy sauce. How do you like it? talk about that experience first of all they're so nice like they're not even gonna talk about like the food first the like workers and everything are so nice like they come to your table and they bring your order and they're like oh they have like a tray of like ketchup and sauces and they're like which one would you like and they ask if you need anything else and then they even came and checked on us while we were eating our food like, this is a fast food restaurant. What is happening? And then we just went to go, like, throw our trays out, and the girl was like, if you just gave me 30 seconds, I would have cleaned that up for you. And we were like, what? We're like, we're from New York. People are not nice. <laughs> and the food was, like, gigantic. Like, this, this is a medium drink. It's as big as my face. And the burger was, like, as big as my face. We we didn't finish our food. Which is like that sucks, but like we just couldn't we just me. couldn't do it. What? And very unlike me. Yeah, like he didn't even finish his food. Um so cannot say enough good things. It was a very enjoyable experience. I need a nap. <laughs> so yeah. The guy in front that was sitting in front of us was actually laughing because we were like, people are nice where we're from and he was just like haha. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was something else and like it was cheap like my meal was only seven dollars and it was really filling and it was like it you know it wasn't like I mean it's fast food like it's a fast food restaurant but it wasn't like crappy fast food you know what I'm saying so yeah thoughts you tell, you tell me that I'm awkward and you're just like <laughs> is it funny I don't know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> Tell, tell, say if he's funny in, in the comments down below. What are we gonna do now? I don't know, I just couldn't put the car in sport mode right now, so I'm about to. Put the car in sport mode, it's about to get real. It's about to get sport. Very sporty. Ain't my fucking car. <laughs> Bye, hope I make it to the next clip. We're in Dallas, Texas, by the way. Did I say that? Just letting you know. Just letting you know about that. Okay. We are here at the Moore Memorial Gardens and we are going to pay our respects to the late and great Dimebag Daryl. And Vinnie Paul. And Vinnie Paul. I don't know if you caught his name. And Vinnie Paul. Legends never die. We just get a badass fucking story. I wouldn't be in the metal or one of the drunks if it wasn't for that. Yeah. 
We just paid our respects to Dimebag and Vinnie Paul. So, yeah. That's pretty crazy to like actually come and see that. Rest in peace, fellas. That's pretty the crazy. The only way that it ever contemplated in my head that we would ever come to this spot was if I was on tour with my band. That was the only... But you on tour with me, beach. Yes. <laughs> Not as good, honestly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at these apartments. They're so nice. Help me. I Continue want straight one. to stay on Canton Street. Oh, it's telling us where to I go. I can't with believe this. that this is the city. This is the city. This is wild. Oh my In god. A quarter mile. Turn left onto South Crowdis Street. Crowdis. Alrighty then. Oh, it's so nice. I'm gonna cry. So we are at the JFK Memorial area and the window that he was shot from is over there. And we're gonna walk over to the grassy knoll where it actually happened. That's the window where the shooter shot JFK from. Okay, so we just saw a tour guide um, and he said right there was the first was shot. The first shot. And, and then, then right, right here, here is where the in this general was. area, was where the headshot was of the Kennedy assassination. That's crazy. <laughs> this is where the headshot happened. So you see this X on the ground? That's apparently where the headshot occurred. Because the first shot happened back now. Matt's really, really into the whole like conspiracy do 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 behind it. This so, is where yeah. he shot him. This is the film. This is where Zapruder shot his film. This is the famous the film edit that like everybody's seen. That's crazy. Back and to the left. He's in dozens of court cases and court documents and everything like that. They really have studied this film numerous times. They just buried it, buried it. So behind this fence here is the grassy knoll. That's what he just said, the tour guide man over there just said. And that's supposedly where the second, second shooter. shooter was. Second and third shooter. Was. Second and third shooter. There, there's a multiple shooter theory. There's, there's so much shit. There's so much light. I honestly don't even know why I'm talking because I just sound dumb. I'm just gonna let Matt take over. <laughs> I'm just like, this is this. I know. Yeah. I'm not good at this is articulating. Where, this is where everybody says that they had visual of, of a second shooter. And a lot of people think that there is actually a cop somewhere around that area that was also a part of it. Andy 
wasn't a cop. This whole thing is wild. It was such a crazy tragedy and there's so, so many things that have been covered up and uh, just so much. They wanted him dead then. No way. That like one lone gunman took him out. There's no way. Like, I'm sorry, but like I, I just can't fathom that. The guy wanted to audit the Federal Reserve, he wanted to cut funding to the CIA, he wanted to do so much stuff that the federal government was like, well, that's not really kosher, bro. Crazy. The bullet that they found from him, he found it on a gurney, untouched. I don't know if any of you people have ever shot a gun and seen what happens to a bullet, but it doesn't come out untouched after hitting bone and meat and everything like that. Nuts. It's like really kind of like crazy to, to be standing here in, you know, something so tragic and like iconic happened. The fact that like our parents remember where they were when this happened, like how we remember 9-11. They remember where they were when this happened. So we're looking at the sign uh, on the building where the shooter was, Lee Harvey Oswald. And if you look, it goes the when Lee Harvey Oswald allegedly shot, yeah, allegedly. So there's this show, a uh, car show on Discovery Channel, you said? Yeah. Discovery Channel called Fast and Loud. I don't know if any of you guys watch that show. Anyway, the people on the show, the guy, Richard Richard Rollins. Richard Rollins. <laughs> Sorry, I don't actually watch the show that much. Uh, Matt absolutely loves that show. And they have a restaurant. Aaron Kaufman is a god. <laughs> they have a restaurant here in Dallas and we are going to have dinner there. It's called Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. So this is water, water, non-carbonated water, just regular water in a can. I've never seen this before in my life. Is this a thing in other places? These are so cool. They can live up to 200 years. 200 years. He's over there. I have made 
the pilgrimage to the Holy Land to see a giant eyeball. I'm absolutely obsessed with eyeballs. I love them. And I have found the holy mecca of eyeball. And I am unnaturally excited about it. It's behind me. It's huge. I am like worshiping it. I'm obsessed. Look at it. How cool is that? It's 30 feet tall. It's giant. Literally the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And it is hot here too, let me tell you. I just made Matt like um, take like a hundred pictures of me in front of this eyeball, which you'll see on my Instagram, which you can follow. It's black dot eyed dot blonde. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put it on the screen. It's shameless self-promotion, but I'm obsessed. We've been standing here for so long. <laughs> it's like, um, can we stop now? And I'm like, absolutely not. So that place you just saw um, is called the Fountain Place. And I had it, I like have a list of things that we wanted to do um, in my phone. And I, had, I thought I was just like being vague when I wrote it down, but it's actually ca just called the Fountain Place. And it, that was so beautiful. I didn't expect it to like look so nice. And the way like at the bottom where the water, the fountains reflected into the building and it just looked like it went on forever. It was so cool. So I'm really glad that we did that. And we're heading back to the hotel now. And I just got a compliment on my shirt while I'm holding Coronas. Oh, you're sick. <laughs> also, it's really weird about Dallas, that's different at least from New York, is that it's quite, there's nobody, there's nobody. Well, there's Matt, but there's nobody here. The parking lot is completely empty. And it's just so quiet, which is just, it's a nice change of pace. It's just so interesting that like in New York, what it's, it's almost nine o'clock right now. In New York, this parking lot would have be packed with people and like you wouldn't be able to find a parking spot. And we are literally like the only car in the parking lot. <laughs> and this is the beautiful city behind us. It's just so wild to see how different it is. And it's like, I'm having a great time. I love it. I love experiencing this. And I kind of don't like people that much. <laughs> or like, I get like anxious when there's a lot of people. <laughs> so, it's a vibe with me. I'm really sad now because there was just like a little bat. And sorry, I'm like sweating. It's really hot and I look disgusting, but I'm really sad because there's just a little bat. And he was just crawling on the ground and it looked like he couldn't fly and I, he looked hurt and I hope that he was just like looking for food or something but it was really sad and we had to leave him and I wished him good luck and I hope he's okay I don't really know anything about bats or if like they crawl on the ground to look for food but it really looked like he couldn't fly I also know you're not like really supposed to like touch them 
So we couldn't help it. We're just sad about it. So we just left Dallas this morning and we are heading to Houston. And if you want to see what we get up to in Houston, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I don't know, leave me a comment. Let me know how you like this video. And if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time in Houston. Bye.